It's poetic to say that your communications should be a two-way street, but what happens when it feels like you're talking to a wall? And what are some creative ways to encourage conversation? I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's roll the title sequence. Hi, I'm Kevin Replinger, client experience researcher here at ThankView, where we are firm believers that video helps strengthen donor relationships. Repeat after me. I will not be scared of video content. Video is vital to create a conversation with your audience. The first and best way to get gabbing is to let your audience know that you would like them to respond. And that looks like a clear call to action button mentioned in multiple places in different areas of your communications piece. This can also look like posing questions to them in a video, pointing at that reply button, or mentioning the reply button in your description. Making it very clear from the beginning that you want to hear from them is critical. But the other thing that I never see enough of is authenticity. Get rid of all that high gloss polish. Uh, ignore the fact that I'm sitting in a green screen and what if you recorded it in your living room? Maybe the person watching it in their living room would be a little more motivated to respond because they would feel like that conversation was targeted just for them. And it was a real invitation to start a dialogue. I encourage you to think about the ways that you can sprinkle authenticity into all of your invitations to your donors to start a genuine conversation. We've been missing human interaction more and more. And I think there are a lot of people out there who'd be willing to take you up on that offer if that offer came from the heart. That said, if nothing else works, you can offer an incentive. Maybe they want a t-shirt. Just kidding. Kinda. That's it for now. See you next week.